art is almost like a, a fingerprint of who you are and what you're about. And people can go into a museum and immediately recognize what artists did what particular work. And, and that's, that's the beauty of it. Um, when people see my art, they say, I know that's a Judy Bowman, I can tell. That's the style and, and uh, that makes me feel good that, that I am recognized for um, what I've created, that I have a, a certain panache about what I am and what I'm doing. As an artist, I feel like I am uh, recording or making a record of my existence and my family's existence and, and, and the things that I've seen as a, as a child in my community and, and, and black people. I think we're, I think we're such a, a mighty people and I just want to make sure that I'm recording that history because my art is going to be here a long time after I'm gone. And I want people to know what I see in my community, what I see in my family, and what I see um, in, in, in people that are around me. I started using pastels colored chalks when I when I really started getting to into my art um, there was an artist Charles White and he used charcoals but he made his work so powerful and so that's what I wanted to do I wanted to use chalk like he did and so um, and that that's how I started off and then after a while and I got really good at it too and then after a while I started to wanting to make bigger pieces and so I was at, um, at an art store and I saw these bright colored papers and they just kind of drew me in. I, I bought the papers, started cutting and the rest was history and that's how I became a collage artist. What that means is I take different materials, different papers, different kinds of objects, and put them together to make a, a beautiful picture. It's, uh, it's something that I, I kind of just looked up on, and it kind of spoke to me and something that I do. And people seem to, to uh, respond really well to it. Most of the times when I do my artwork, I'm feeling really happy. When people look at my artwork, I want them to see a memory that they've had in their past. I want my work to be a visual that instantly takes them back into a moment and a time in their past where their families came together for parties and families came together and went to church and how important that was and, and, and the pride of dressing up and, and, and being together and, and playing cards and going to parties and picnicking together. Uh, I want all of those memories to come back to people when they look at my work because we all have precious memories and, and um, I want my work to transport them back to those times and, and, and to give them that feeling of what was going on at that time. A lot of times when you're doing a piece, it does feel like you're being directed or led because um, when, you, when, I, when I start an art piece, I might have one thing in mind. I might start off saying that I'm going to create a, a, a female, but a, a male will emerge from it. The work takes on a life of its own and, and, and sometimes you just become the instrument to create this piece. 
You might be flipping through a magazine just to, to, to find a, a particular color or a particular shade and you see something there and it changes the whole dynamic of the art piece. The art is working with the artist and the artist is working with the art and it becomes like a partnership. There's something in the art that wants to come out and, and, and it's directing the artist to, to this is what you know, I want to be and this is what I want to do. And, and um, when the artist allows it to happen, uh, something really beautiful uh, oftentimes emerges. Something that wasn't even in your head when you started. So you just, sometimes you just have to let the art be what it wants to be. And oftentimes it's almost like, did I do this? Did I create this? How did this get like this? And, and you just feel a pride that this comes out of my hands and nobody else's. Nobody else's can do exactly what I've just done here. It's like an instinct that uh, is something inside of you that draws you to do this. And, and that's why I do art. It's, it's, it's like, this is what I'm here to do. This is, this is what I'm here to be. I've been, a, I've been a teacher, I've been a principal, I've been, you know, a lot of different kinds of things. But if I could say, in conclusion, if I could have chosen anything to be in this earth, it would have been an artist. Because the work that I create is something that will be here long after I'm gone. And it will give people joy long after I'm gone. And I want to, to be here on this earth to say that I was here and I made a difference and I made people happy and I made my family proud. I'm glad that I'm an artist. I'm glad that I'm who I am. And I'm glad uh, that the possibilities are vast and enormous and I'm ready to take it on.